Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring my review of this week's episode of Z Nation on Sci-Fi, which was episode 6 of season 4 called Back from the Undead. So uh, yeah, Z Nation continues to be really, really strong this season. Um, again, I'm a part of a Z Nation fan group on Facebook. I'll provide another link to that in the description. Just request to join the let any fan in. Um, I see a lot of cool people on there. Uh, some people, though, seem to not be liking this season. They think it's taking itself uh, too seriously. They don't think it's as fun. Um, but again, I'm going to disagree with them. I think this has been some of the nation's strongest material of the whole series. Um, you know, along with uh, the Addy stuff and the dual episode in Season 3, and of course all other things here and there in the other seasons as well. Um, but I've always liked uh, Z Nation for it can be really fun and uh, you know definitely be remembered for its uh, <laughs> out there moments. But it's also shown it's been able to uh, you know take itself seriously and convince us as an audience, at least for me, that it can go that way as well. And so I don't mind uh, Z Nation actually having serious scenarios in this season. And they still have their off-the-wall moments, you know, there's a there's a zombie with a guy's face that's been mutated or, like, plastered into his back. <laughs> He's, you know, pretty fat, and he, and he can shoot guns, too, so, yeah, there's still that fun factor there, I think. Um, but this was a fairly heavy episode, and we're, I think it's only 13 episodes this season, so we're about, uh, you know, halfway through, pretty much. Um... I, I didn't expect something like this for a while yet. This uh, season has had pretty pretty fast pacing, I think. Still missing Addy, though. You know, really, really bugs me, actually. That's the one con, I guess. Um, but I think we'll be seeing her soon, at least within the next handful of episodes, I would think. Um, within two, or within two, I think, would be preferable. But, I don't know, maybe Anastasia Barnova had something extra going on while they are filming this season. Or maybe it's just the way they wrote it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Back from the Undead was a very, very good episode. Um, major spoiler warning if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but it probably featured some of the best acting of the entire series from Keith Allen as Murphy. As he continued to worsen with his condition, we don't really know what's going on with him, but this buddy keeps on oozing out, and then, you know, he's coughing up this, like, red, not red, uh, black vomit. Um... Lucy appears to be able to sort of keep him alive as she keeps biting him, but as she does, sh uh, as, uh, as she does so, she continues to age herself, and this ends up killing her. Um, so we see the death of Lucy in this episode, which is really uh, sad. I'll admit I did start getting misty-eyed, you know, in uh, one of her and Murphy's final scenes together, you know, where she's actually an old woman at this point. Took away from it a little bit, just because we've seen uh, more of like that teenage... Lucy, or like my age Lucy for a while now, um, so I don't feel like we are in a way saying goodbye to the same character, even just because she looks so different all of a sudden, um, but it was still well written and all, and the older uh, actress did a good job as well, and Keith Allen really knocked it out of the park, um, Murphy's definitely come a long way in this series, from being the sarcastic dick who was, you know, pretty entertaining, you know, so what he was in season two with the birth of Lucy, and then, you know, kind of the villain tyrant he was in season three, and now he's more humble, he actually, you know, we actually know he cares about some of the group, um, you know, I've always thought Murphy's had a heart, you know, beneath it all through everything, and it definitely showed in this episode, um, he even admits to, you know, having a love for Addy in some form, you know, in a certain way, as he, you know, told Lucy, um, you know, he also told Lucy about, you know, how, you know, his meetings with her mom actually went, you know, pie girl, if you remember her. Um, so that was really well done as well, really well written, and again, Keith Allen really made it with his performance, you know, all, his, uh, all, his, the, all the emotional crying stuff. Um, unusual to see from Murphy, but he really nailed it. Uh, it felt real. Um, and he definitely felt for him here. And I loved uh, how Warren, you know, uh, went next to him as soon as she seen him holding Lucy, and it was a really touching moment between those two as well. Um, Warren, meanwhile, you know, she kept on having these visions and it led her to this facility, and, you know, she appeared to remember some sort of code, and she's not sure why. And then we see the, again, the Z, the fat Z with the, you know, I can shoot the guns and everything, but this guy basically ended up having an experiment going wrong, and he's, his face is just stuck to his back, and that's all that's uh, left of him. <laughs> um, so there's some, you know, a fun little action sequence there, I guess. We don't get much, we don't really get many answers about, uh, you know what's going on with Warren yet. 
Um, they, they're maybe playing that a little bit too slow, but I still appreciate the mystery, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is a great episode. Surprised at Lucy's death. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it. Um, yeah, I could have seen her surviving the whole show and them killing off Murphy instead, but again, I would not want that either. Because <laughs> um, Murphy and Addie are my favorite characters, and I've said it before, I always thought of Murphy as sort of the face of the show. Um, so I really don't think you can have Z Nation without Murphy. Um, but I think this will really drive Murphy forward, and hopefully he'll gain strength from it, perhaps. But I know he's going to be in a rut for quite a while, and, you know, understandably so. So yeah, this was a really good episode. I honestly enjoyed it more than Supernatural this week. <laughs> um, I've actually probably enjoyed Super, uh, Z Nation this season more than Supernatural this season, which is, you know, surprising, but it's the truth. So, uh, yeah, if I had to rate this episode, I'd rate this one about a 9, 9.2 out of 10, about as good as all the other episodes of the season. Um, you know, I guess the threat wasn't really as uh, interesting in this one, but again, just the Murphy stuff is great. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.